Who doesn't love a perfect duo? I mean, just like coffee and Monday mornings, when the right pieces come together, they create a masterpiece that will blow your mind. These are the greatest duos in tennis history. Number 5. Serena and Venus Williams Now, let's be real. Serena and Venus are not just your average sibling duo. They are both, individually, some of the best players women tennis has ever seen. Just like most tennis legends, the sisters started their junior careers in the 90s with the help of their dad, Richard Williams. Now, here's where things get pretty interesting. Richard had no experience when it came to tennis coaching. In fact, he knew almost nothing about tennis. All he knew was that he needed to turn his kids into tennis legends. So, back in 1978, before his girls were born, Richard wrote a 78-page plan on how he would make them tennis stars. And as soon as the sisters hit four years, they picked up their rackets and have never let go of it ever since. Their talent was so mind-boggling that opponents in junior tournaments couldn't believe what they were seeing. It was like facing off against pint-sized tennis wizards. While most teenagers were struggling with math homework, Venus was taking on tennis pros at just 14 years old. And Serena, not to be outdone, joined her sister in the professional ranks at the same age. When Serena and Venus teamed up on the doubles court, it was like witnessing a tennis version of the Avengers assembling. With Serena's thunderous serves and Venus's powerful ground strokes, no other female duo stood a chance. Their chemistry was unmistakable, and it went beyond just knowing where the other would be on the court. It was almost like they both possessed a telepathic connection on the court. The Williams sisters' double resume is not just impressive, it's practically a work of art. I mean, how does 22 doubles titles and 14 Grand Slam women's doubles titles sound? Including four at the Australian Open, two at the French Open, six at Wimbledon, and finally, two at the US Open. And to top it off, they both spent a total of 52 weeks in the top two of the WTA rankings, and for four of those weeks, they were even co-ranked number one in doubles. If that doesn't tell you how good they were, I don't know what will. Now, if there's any other sibling duo that matches the Williams sisters in terms of chemistry, it has to be these guys. Number 4. Bob and Mike Bryan You can think of Bob and Mike as the tennis version of the Wonder Twins, two peas in a tennis pod. Growing up in a family with a strong tennis background, it was only natural for the twins to develop an early interest in the sport. Their father, Wayne Bryan, was a tennis guru. So, he taught them the fundamentals of the game from a young age. And like you would expect, their junior success was just a sneak peek of the remarkable professional career that awaited them. The Bryan brothers started their tennis journey as juniors, and their exceptional talent quickly became crystal clear to anyone who watched them play. After winning numerous junior titles, they became the top-ranked doubles team in the United States in the 18 and under division. And in 1996, they finally decided to turn pro after high school. They stormed onto the ATP Challenger Tour like two tennis tornadoes that same year. But it wasn't until 2003 that the tennis world realized how much of a big deal the brothers were. In 2004, the Bryan brothers unleashed their tennis superpowers and went on a tournament-winning rampage. First up, they stormed their way to the winner's circle in Adelaide claimed the trophy, and set the tone for the rest of the year. Throughout the year, they won a career-best seven titles, the victories coming at Adelaide, Memphis, Acapulco, Queens Club, Los Angeles, Basel, and Tennis Masters Cup Houston. They also reached four other finals. When it came to playing together, these twins were unstoppable. Their styles of play meshed together like peanut butter and jelly creating a tennis sandwich that left opponents feeling absolutely squished. Bob's powerful serve was like a cannonball being launched, while Mike's finesse at the net was smoother than a freshly polished trophy. The Bryan brothers were so dominant that they made winning tournaments look as easy as stealing candy from a baby. No other doubles pair in the history of the game could hold a candle to their mind-boggling achievements. Throughout their career, the brothers snagged an unbelievable 119 tournament wins together. Yeah, that's right, 119! And as if that wasn't enough, they became the only team to have won every major and the Olympic gold in one year. Now you get why they were such an incredible force on the court. 
And speaking of incredible forces, this list would be incomplete without the most deadly combination of skills a tennis court has ever seen. Number 3. John McEnroe and Peter Fleming Now, individually, John and Peter are two incredibly successful players. I mean, John held the number one ranking for a total of 170 weeks and snagged a total of seven Grand Slams throughout his career. While Fleming, on the other hand, helped bring home not one, not two, but three Davis Cups for the United States. With credentials like this, it's not difficult to see why they are arguably the most deadly duo in tennis history. And it's not just because of the numbers. You see, if you know a thing or two about tennis doubles, you'll agree with me that it takes more than just two good players to make an excellent team. I mean, some players can be great individually, but can turn out to be a disaster when they play side by side. It's like trying to mix oil and water. It just doesn't work. But not for McEnroe and Fleming. Their ability to understand each other on and off the court made them a perfect match. And to top it off, their playing styles were a blend of sheer power and finesse. John would unleash thunderous shots that would make opponents tremble, and then Fleming would follow it up with his delicate touch at the net. Now that's what you call balance. Their achievements as a doubles team were like the cherry on top of the cake of their success. They racked up a total of 57 doubles titles and snatched seven Grand Slams, including four consecutive Wimbledon championships from 1979 to 1982. But you know what's better than a team that bagged 57 doubles titles and seven Grand Slams? This team. Number two, Todd Woodbridge and Mark Woodford. You see, Todd and Mark were two tennis players that took Australian tennis to the next level as a double team. Now, if you thought that they were related in any way, then you've never been more wrong. I mean, yeah, their last names are pretty similar, but you can just think of it as a sign that they were a match made in heaven. The Australians' bond on the court was so strong that it earned them the nickname, the Woodies. As a team, the Woodies blended Mark's left-handed baseline with Todd's right-handed net sorcery in a way that made them an insane force on the court. These guys were so good that they practically owned the ATP Doubles Team of the Year title. I mean, they didn't just win it once or twice. They cupped it a jaw-dropping five times. It's almost like they had a permanent reservation for that award. And when it came to Grand Slam ATP Doubles titles, they were practically hoarding trophies like it was a piece of cake. They snagged 61 doubles titles and 11 Grand Slams including one French Open, a couple of Australian Opens, a pair of US Opens, and a whopping six Wimbledons. And to top it all off, they even won two Tour Finals titles in 1992 and 1996. Sadly, just like all good things, the partnership of the Woodies eventually came to an end, when Mark made the decision to retire from professional tennis in 2000. Hey, at least it was great while it lasted. And now that we're down to number one, you can bet we've saved the best for last. Because this list would be incomplete without the incredible duo of... Number one, Martina Navratilova and Pam Shriver. Just like most of the players on this list, Navratilova and Shriver were exceptional players individually. But when they joined forces on the tennis court, they were an absolute powerhouse. They formed a duo that didn't just capture the hearts of fans, they were also nothing short of absolutely legendary. The combination of Navratilova's aggressive baseline game and Shriver's dominance at the net created a lethal synergy. Navratilova's ground strokes and penetrating shots set up Shriver for easy putaways, while Shriver's exceptional net play allowed Navratilova to confidently attack from the baseline, knowing that she had a reliable partner waiting at the net. Their playing styles not only complemented each other, but also covered each other's weaknesses. Martina's speed and agility compensated for Pam's slightly slower movement. On the other hand, Pam's strong net presence provided a safety net for Martina's occasional defensive positions. And you know what happens when you've got a partner that always has your back? Well, in this case, their terrific teamwork earned them 10 WTA championships and 21 Grand Slam doubles titles the highest number ever achieved by a women's pairing. It's a record that still stands till this very day, but that's just the tip of the iceberg, because between April 1983 and July 1985, 
the duo held an unbelievable 109-match winning streak. They were named the WTA Tour Doubles Team of the Year eight times in a row. Eight! Now, if that doesn't prove that they were the best duo in tennis history, I don't know what will. So, there you have it, folks. If there's one thing that the greatest tennis duo has taught us, it's that two good heads are always better than one. Which duo is your favorite? Let us know down in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to learn more interesting things about your favorite tennis players.